Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on image patterns, which is part of the non-verbal reasoning. So we have seen concepts testing on series, analogy, classification with numbers, words, then where you get to see numbers and words. So in this part, we'll see something similar to what we have seen, but we rather deal with the images. Right, about the series or maybe analogy, classification and some other extensions to that which will be focusing more on the images so which will be non-verbal you don't see numbers so you don't see words so this video is brought to you by learning made easy team a team of IM grads in association with our e-learning partner GTQ get to the top if you are watching this video in the YouTube channel do check out our full length courses available for free at gtcube.com slash store where you'll get to watch these videos as part of the course and also get to practice a lot of questions on this concept which would help you understand these concepts better. So let's get started. So there is nothing much in terms of concept that we're going to discuss. We rather deep dive into each types of question, you know, each type of question that you get to see in this topic and we'll solve a sample question. We'll tell you what's the approach that is advised from our side, you know, to handle questions like this. Post that we strongly recommend you to look out the questions, the practice questions that are available in our website, in a partner's website basically, where you'll get to practice and that sort of enhances your understanding on this concept better. So the first type is the series. So this is basically like how I see a number series. If I say 1, 3, 5, 7 and ask you what is the next term, so you try to find the logic between them and then you see I'm adding 2 everywhere so ideally the next one should be 7 plus 2 it should be 9 so something similar it is like this the first term of the series second third fourth now I'm asking what will be my next term in the sequence so you got to see the pattern right what's happening in each of these uh, uh, terms so what are the things that I notice I see that this square is sort of rotating a bit right I mean it is like this and then it is rotated by 45 degrees you know so that's why it is looking like this so rather let me show something like this right I'll put numbers like this 1 2 3 and 4 so what I think is happening here 1 2 and 3 4 so you see between 2 and 3 I see white so let me put it like this between 1 and 4 I see black so this is how it should be similarly 2 and 3 come here 1 and 4 come here similarly 2 and 3 come here 1 and 4 come here so what's happening 1 2 3 4 is now like 1 2 3 4 it is like you know it is tilted from this way it is tilting like this by 45 degrees right so something like this has been tilted like this then what's happening in the next I see 1 2 3 4 that is it has become horizontal like this if you see and if I am trying to look at this axis which is cutting through 1 2 and 3 4 1 2 and 3 4 1 2 and 3 4 now it has become horizontal now what's, what's something I am seeing here 1 2 and 3 4 now I see that it has again become slightly tilted right so the, it is like the line is like this in the first case now it became like this now it become horizontal and again it is tilting like this so that is what the pattern is so what would be my next pattern obviously it is like this it tilted like this it became horizontal it became like this now it has to become again vertical so what would that vertical look like so you see 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 one two three four one two three four technically it should be one two right four and three should be coming like this see so that the axis will be like this the line the axis I have drawn if you focus clearly it's between one two and three four so that's why the axis should be like this so one two three and four will look like this now let's focus on this part right it is at 2, now it is at 3, now it is at 4, now it is coming back to 1 and it is technically expected to go back to 2 again. See so that's the moment of the square block, the dark square, the black square block. It's at number 2 vertex, now it is at 3, now it is at 4, now it is back to 1 and it will be again back to 2. 
So this is where the square should be at vertex 2. And now if you see the white circle, it's between 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. So it has to be between 2, 3, that's a white circle. And 1 and 4, in between 1 and 4, I'm seeing the black circle. 1 and 4, 1 and 4, 1 and 4. So it has to be the black circle like this. Right? This is the answer option that you should be seeing. That is a square block looks like this. And there is a dark square, the black square on this left bottom corner with a white circle on the left side and a black dark circle on the right side. And that should be my correct option. I you won't see the vertex, vertices and these lines, etc. which I have drawn. But I'm just trying to show you so that you see a pattern like this. You see, the square block kept moving, the dark square block. So you need to understand what is the pattern in which it is moving so that I can put it at the right corner. And also the circles, you have to understand between what exactly are they, between what two vertices are they located and they are not moving. Sometimes you might see even they are moving like, you know, 2, 3, two, it might move to 1, 2 and then it comes to 1, 4 and then 4, 3. Similarly, the black block, black circle also moving. That is something that can happen as well, but it is not happening here. So you just have to notice that and carefully do it. Generally, you will get the options where it would make it slightly easier for you to select it. We have intentionally not given options for this question because you wanted to show the logic or the way you should be thinking, you know, it would be more clear if you try to look at it without options. Now, the other type is the analogy type, right? If you see uh, the numbers where you'll see like 2 is to 4, right, is similar to 3 is to what? So, I see 2 is to 2 square. So, 3 is to 3 square should be the analogy. You know, just need to figure out the logic between the first two, that is these two, and you'll apply the same logic between this and this. So there could be infinite or multiple interpretations rather uh, possible. That's why the options always help you to sort of, you know, look at it. So for example, a triangle I'm seeing is to a triangle with, you know, maybe you can call it altitudes, medians or anything. Basically, I'm drawing from the vertex to the, the opposite side of it. Right. So you just have to understand if it was one way to interpret is this that I see a triangle with three sides that's why maybe I'm seeing three lines so circle is technically called as a closed figure with infinite sides you know which sort of gives me infinite lines which sort of makes it really complicated right so maybe that's a wrong or maybe not a right interpretation for this particular set so let's look at the option so that I can understand what I'm seeing is a closed figure and then some lines inside the closed figure so similarly circle and then I should see a circle with lines in it but then how many lines or what type of lines is something that I have to uh, you know figure that out which is which has some multiple possibilities as I said it might have only three lines because I see three lines here and three lines here or maybe as I said a triangle is a three-sided figure that's why it has three lines a circle is like infinite sides so maybe I can see infinite lines you know kept draw, keep drawing the lines like this like you know etc etc which is which is not going to make uh, you know an easy job but you have to see the options and then accordingly select the correct answer the first option has a circle and then a triangle inside it with some more lines in it this is absolutely wrong because there is no uh, pattern in you know we are not seeing that pattern in this right i don't see any other closed figure inside this triangle to see the similarity here circle with lines but i see two lines so this one has circle with three lines and here I'm seeing one, two, three and four. That's basically four lines. So very similar circles, but it's just the lines being different number of lines, two, three and four. I would select this for the very reason that I see three lines here. So maybe it's like a figure, a closed figure is to closed figure with three lines. So it's a circle and then circle with three lines. So that is the only logic that I can see. I don't see why we should have four lines or two lines like this. So obviously these two are also not uh, making sense. Only this one is the suitable option for us. And that's how you have to look at this analogy based questions. It would help you to look at this, uh, you know, options and sort of eliminate sometimes. And maybe you can figure out a simple pattern. Maybe you can select the correct option according to that. The next type is a classification. You just have to figure out the odd one out, right? You might find some similarities between uh, three out of these four. You just need to figure out which one is that odd one, which has no relevance or similarity with the remaining three. So what am I seeing here? I see two lines with an arrow. Uh, one of the lines is arrow and the other is a normal line. Again, two lines with one with the arrow 
another line again two lines one with the arrow on normal line but here i have two normal lines and there's one with arrow so altogether i have three lines right which seems to be the odd one out right because two lines two lines two lines one each of type one each type but except this one where i have two normal lines and one arrow line whereas here one normal one arrow one normal one arrow and one normal and one arrow so these have a similarity but this one is looking to be the odd one so the answer is the second one so that's why you have to just try to understand the similarity in three of the four and then pick that odd one out which is not fitting into that group mirror images is another type which is a common thing so rather setting a question we have given a figure and we will show you how you can draw the mirror image of it the reflections could be asked around any line right so let me put it again like this a line like this this is basically reflecting around you know this is the mirror and you have to draw reflected what i'll say is this it's very easy uh, if you understand this concept let me give numbers like 1 2 3 for the let me draw this triangle anywhere triangle reflector will look like a triangle but let me just show you what is the you know good way to solve this so the points which are closer to the mirror would be closer even in the reflected so like this right so basically the three should come here two is here which is far off from the mirror so in the same line the two should go here right one is here at same distance right whatever the distance i see here something like this distance this should be my one so i draw it i get the triangle 1 2 and 3 right now let's look at this line right how do i draw this line so let me take the point for i need to join 2 and 4 right so 2 is here 4 is here this is the distance i have from the mirror technically the distance should be same as i said so this will be where i see the point 4 reflected so this should be my line you see this small square let me call it as a b c d right so a is far off compared to b right so let me draw b first b is here so it should basically be coming out to be somewhere here why because b distance is less than a's distance right so a should be on this side c will come here and d will come here so you will get a square like this similarly a circle let me take a point like this which is the center o so this is the distance so basically i should see something like o should be here and that should be my circle right that is how you should look so any complex figure you see right let's say i am asking you to define the reflection for this all you need to do is you know pick a point like one maybe another point two if you want point three and then point four just reflect those points and then join them and you'll get a figure it's much easier to do this way you won't get it wrong any figure you see just make sure you know you can actually sort of you know do it faster rather than putting all these points once you get a clarity but if you are confused on any one thing right uh, should it be a line like this coming out to be like this or like this or something or maybe something like this just make sure that you do this approach and you'll get it right you'll always get it right so if it it's a reflection on here right this mirror the same logic from this line what is the distance and that will be the reflected points distance also so the point 2 will be reflected like this point 3 will be reflected like this and point 1 will be reflected like this and so this is my 1 2 1 and 3 now this line point 4 will reflect like this so 2 and 4 i join so this is o so it is supposed to reflect like this so this is my circle and this is my square so b right it will reflect like this a will reflect like this c is farther right so c will technically come here so this is b this is a this is c this is d so this is my square i just make sure that you do this properly uh, the square anyway square as a reflected if i had a triangle like this right here so how would this look like over here it's it's good to know p q r so you know p and q are closer to the mirror so the reflected also would have p and q like this q and p 
whereas r is here farther from the mirror so that's why the reflector will also be farther from mirror so it will look like this you know here the triangle looks different right that's why it's important to just note uh, you know the corner points or the vertex vertices and reflect them properly and you'll get the correct image you'll always get the correct image so let's look at this side of reflection right same logic 2 is here so 2 will come here 3 is here farther so 3 will come here 1 is here so 1 will come here so this is what my triangle will look like now 4 is here which is like farther so it goes to this side so this is my 4 so this is how it looks like and the square is here b a c d right b is farther so what will i get i'll get b here a is closer so sorry i should get a here and b here because b is farther so b will be reflected farther a is closer so a will be reflected here similarly c d so this is my square and the circle is here which is farther so it will also come here this is the farther side right that's how you would be doing this reflection you can also do reflection on this line or maybe if you see like you know reflection around this line okay you just have to make sure that now you don't do like this rather you do like this i mean you should always reflect the point drawing a perpendicular to the line and then reflect it over here now this point will reflect like this this point will stay on the mirror will stay on the mirror itself two will be two on the mirror and this right this will reflect this is perpendicular so this will reflect like this something like you know this so now this is like three so i should get a line like this so this is a 90 degrees right so this should be 90 whatever the way you draw so this is how you'll get the image so for all the mirror images what we recommend is first try to do an approximate reflection on your own then look at the options and pick the relevant one right so that you pick the right one it's easy to do the reflection. Uh, now let's look at the next type that's paper cutting and folding. This is what I feel is slight extension of the mirror reflection. This is like I have a circular paper, right? Now I have folded it around this line, which is what this shows. Like, you know, basically half of the sheet is now folded into two semicircles. Now this again is folded over this into four quarter circles. Now I have four pieces of paper. I mean, basically four quarters here which are coming because I have folded like this twice first half so I have one and two one top over the other and now I have four papers here like one over the other once I open them I'll again see the full circle now they'll say I'll punch a hole I'll make you know some shape out of here what would it look like when I open so what you need to understand is this okay from here I folded into like semicircle became two quarter circles by folding over here like this right so now if I open I'll first open this so I should technically be getting something like this. Right? It becomes two semicircles from four quarter circles. All you need to do is imagine this like this. So I have a circle like this. I am just, you know, draw the reflection of this over here. I mean, this is my mirror line. So draw the reflection like this. This is point one. This is point two. This is point three. So two will be stay here. Three, the points on the mirror will stay on the mirror itself. One will reflect it, get here. So I'll get a circle like this, right? So this is my thing. Let me call this A, B, C, D. A is farther, so A will come here. B will come here. So I'll get a, like this. And then this circle will look like this, right? This is what the reflected image will look like. Now, once I open our two, two semicircles into one complete circle, now it is like this is my, let me take another color. This is my mirror line. Now I need to, you know, this is my mirror. I need to reflect this entire half circle onto this side. So this will become a circle. Right. So these points are on the mirror. So they will become like this. So this one will be reflected as a full rectangle like this. You know, like one rectangle, this rectangle is reflected like this. And this rectangle is reflected like this. So basically I will see four rectangles like this in the entire circle you know that's how i will do so the folding paper cutting questions all you need to imagine is this whatever the figure be once i open them imagine that opening line would be my mirror line so now this quarter circle become another quarter circle which is reflected 
once i have a semi circle now reflect this and make it a complete circle i right? that's how you would do this question no completion of figure so this is a bit similar uh, to the series per se but here you don't you have to just understand that all these three parts of the four like this is one part two part three and four parts i would say the three parts would show you similar pattern which should be complementing in that fourth missing part so what you need to do is just see this and try to draw it right i see circle right so i'll just draw a circle like this to complete i see like lines like this right this line so it looks like a rhombus or a square rather so i'll draw this and then i see a line like this which is drawn from the center to the circle so i should have a line like this as well because i see these lines right i should be drawing a line like this and then what else i see a star star at this gap between the circular arc and this uh, bigger uh, square lines so i should see a star here right so this should be my answer right so the way i should look like is the circle then there is a star and there is a line and there is a line like this so which is this option right i see a star here a circular arc a line from the center to the circle and then a line which is a square or the rhombus line right this line so this is my correct option you just need to look at these three parts draw the fourth part complete it and then you know uh, look at the option and pick the correct one so another type is the embedded figures so it's basically that i give you a figure like this i ask you in which of these options is this figure already hidden like i should be able to pick this just make sure they might not be drawn to the perfect scale most of the times right uh, so don't get confused and try to look only for the exact matching with respect to sizes but you, you should not have something like this right this is not correct you should have them to be at the same level but i might have something like as large as this or maybe like this in the image when the image is so big or maybe this itself is the image so just make sure that you understand that size sometimes might not be the same but they have to be very similar to this i cannot count this and this to be similar right it has to be only up to this point and i have to join this so one thing i would say is the logic for me is this uh i'll try to see some inclined lines like this i see inclined line like this so check for the inclined lines in this image where do i see inclined line this is one this whole line is second where else that's it right or maybe this line is third whereas here i only have this line and this line nowhere else right and here i have only this line and here of this and this so you see i need to have this inclined line but then i right so i see inclined line like this so once i see it only try to start here see a sort of a shape you are trying to see now i have till here but that is like joining this right which is not correct i need to be bending somewhere before this line the inclined line is ending so this is not correct i am not having anywhere a line like this similarly for this i am starting here but there is no bend like this so again this entire thing is wrong now i see only for this i start off here right i come till the end i again don't see any bend anywhere happening for the s shape so again this is not a correct thing if i had a line like this then yes this is like s okay let me actually do with a different color ha huh. see show me let me show this right so this is my starting point of the inclined line i go to the left then i'm coming down i'm meeting the inclined line again which is not the shape right i should be bending before that and i should come to the end of this inclined line in some other way which is let me show here i start off here i come in this way and then i'm again meeting this end of this inclined line before bend so again bend i mean is this bend i am not seeing that i come to here i start off here right and then i again meet this inclined line but what i see is this one i start off here i go till this point right i come here i bend here then i come here right and you see this inclined line so this is this right this entire s shape is coming out with this inclined line so this is the correct option
you don't have to check anything else you, you won't have this image tilted in some 45 degrees 90 degrees etc so what i always prefer is look at this inclined line some major line for you in this exact figure then pick those relevant lines in multiple places of the figure and see if i can see the similarity anywhere that is i'm only focusing on this line i'm not checking for this s shape image anywhere else right so that's what you need to do otherwise if you check s right i can get s like this or I can get S like this. Or I can get S like this. So these are the three possibilities I see. So that is still not a bad thing. You will just check for these three S's and see if there's any line joining the endpoints. You don't find any of them, so you won't mark this. But you have to check three S lines, right? So it might be a bit tedious, but anything. As I said, just pick a major chunk of it. One line is better actually, which is a bit odd in all the options. See for those lines and see if I see that pattern around that line. If I don't see the pattern, those are not the options and the one which will show you is the correct option, which is the first option. So that's it with this video. So we have tried to actually give you some hints, tips, uh, and I've showed you types of questions that would generally get asked in the image patterns, a non-verbal reasoning side. So this would be a good start for you. What we would recommend you is to definitely practice questions. You will find a lot of questions to practice on these uh, types in our partners website gtq.com slash store so make sure that you check out and register for those free courses and you'll get a lot of practice that would help you in your uh, preparation also do like our partners facebook page facebook.com slash gtq3 you are coming up with a lot of content you'll get all those notifications updates shared over there so don't miss that so thank you for watching this video and let's meet in the next video